Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to keep a diary with MATLAB. Yes, I know this is weird, but I just discovered this on the MathWorks website because I'm a dork and I look there. And pretty much you can just keep a record of everything you've done in your command window uh, with this diary. Okay, so I had already created one. Let me just delete that for the sake of this video. Um, so in order to do that, you have to say that to define your diary. So you say uh, diary and then you type in the name my diary okay and then you press enter okay so that basically tells MATLAB hey MATLAB I'm gonna keep a record of whatever I type into my command window now let's say you have a bunch of different things you say 1 plus 2 2 plus 3 1 minus oh, sorry 1 minus 1 okay now say you're done you want to stop taking care of or stop recording stuff in your diary because you know you did all the record keeping you had to do then you actually turn your diary off kind of like you put your diary away you press enter your diary is off and you can see over on the left hand side you have your my your diary called my diary okay so if you double click that everything you just did should pop up here now you may think all right what the heck like why would i ever use this well, maybe there's a certain sequence of events and outputs that you want to get. You can store them all in your diary. Uh, initially, if you don't have too complex of a code, this isn't going to be useful to you. But when you run multiple things and you want to record the output in some certain location, this diary could be helpful. And you don't have to call it diary because that's kind of lame. But um, this diary can help you keep track of whatever your output is. So. Uh, I recommend using it. I mean, I've never used it before, but it seems pretty cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you start keeping a diary with my lab. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll see you guys next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.